it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have before. I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly the second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you. I appreciate you working with me, but it's time to get... Oh! <laughs> Eliazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliazar. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We had a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. Not, not at all, sir. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see an old pile of rocks. Also, we're riding dust rolls. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes, is that you? Have I caught you before you left the stop? <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? A new student. You? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Or have I? Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Elizar, who alerted me to activities months ago. Miriam? No. She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. A symbol. Glow. I don't see a glow. How do I? Mervyn's <laughs> beard. You... Wait. Wait. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> She's seen someone die and <laughs> the Testrels appear immediately. That's absolutely brilliant touch. Oh, that, that was nice with the Are you hurt? You're hurt. Not a bit. Take this. It's Wiganwell potion. That stuff will write you in a second. <laughs> Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Taking a carriage mid air? A typical dragon would never. Sir. Sir. Where are we? I'm not sure. But the key you discovered was clearly a portkey. Portkey? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm doing better, sir. If you like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this portkey. Or why. Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. <clears throat> it can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Welcome to Gringotts Visiting Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. Precisely. Of course, of course. That's why we're here. Vault the number 12. Mm -hmm. The wife's portkey. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. After you. It's inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Mm. 
boats are in the waves. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to boat number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power or both could have arranged for such a service. Do you want to take a breath? A what? That water pool washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> On you, boy. Hmm? One band the guard was wearing was glowing. That's the glow you saw on the poppy container. Yeah. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rarely one goes there anymore. Bolt 12, thank you for your help. Shop? What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Best of luck. Mm. Yes, sir. <laughs> it was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelia, perhaps. Revelia? Yes. A revealing charm. Like the present. Let's see what. It You are. How did you? What is this place? I don't know. There's something floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder.
It was his full name, right? Percival Wolfric something something. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. I see magic. Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam. George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. The world all looks rather different. It's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ramrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you fancy. Let bygones be bygones. <laughs> Sir? They had the key to the vault. <laughs> but wisely. I I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did careful. I have no patience for traitors. No. Are we? I'm not giving you anything. Mm -hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more. Nope. The vault did not like that. <laughs> you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed totally unaffected by my magic. Uh, Henry. It can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive lock it. And the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Of course we do. And there it is, Hogwarts. To think it was beneath 
the smallest time. here to see this. We didn't miss the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. At the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you There's a question, what a lot of I didn't see anyone. Maybe it came out of the pencil? I obviously missed it. Phineas, I'm jealous. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Black family. Dick, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin In problem now. has got me. No time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Be in touch. Professor Weasley! One more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? No. You come here with preferences and conceptions. Certain expectation. Well, she is older.
morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. I can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your Fair enough. situation, Seems logical. joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exam. They will determine what type of career you can leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. What? Here you are. Grimoire? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. To help you to keep track of what you are learning, so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptional valuable resource. Bleep. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of you? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. No. What was that goblin doing <laughs> to Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Why does she have such a deep voice? Like she's talking from a battle. Now, what can I... Oh. There's a face I haven't seen before. It's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thank you for this. My pleasure. I will say... Well, it's a metal waste, obviously. Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> 
Not timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? <laughs> I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I... About time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. <laughs> How odd. <laughs> Once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um... We'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, ah, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, 
This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. What do you think? Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match? Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Bloop. Ah, there you are. idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick! <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid <laughs> Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Fig! I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. I would think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Shh. That man is exasperating. Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted section will have to wait a bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? The key is in the drawer of that desk. Now, here's what we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. You distract, I get the key. Understood. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Yes. That must be where this all leads.
can it be? The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a new... He's pissed. Yeah, I can attack for Neil. I labor here. I labor here. Notice this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howling said in Beast's class, that I... She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area, so perhaps the beast will be... Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke and... Come along, then. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! <laughs> Heavens! <laughs> You've done it! But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. If I knew your plan was to dig up half the I country... I wouldn't have to dig if you could simply manage to bring me the child. 
We wouldn't need the child if you hadn't sent a dragon to retrieve the container I spent months and countless ministry favors tracking. You let them board the carriage. My options were limited once I knew it would be inconveniently beyond my reach of that infernal school. Have you not acquired enough power here? I allowed you to tunnel under my family home. Allowed me? You are here only because you are descended from a keeper and may at some point inadvertently become valuable. We had an agreement. I will share with you the power that I discovered if you locate the stores of magic that are yet to be found. So, unless you want another demonstration of my power, a power that you one day hope to wield, bring me the child. grows tired of the room surprises we now have the perfect place for those thestrals please let Deke know once you've bred them Now, all that remains is to break the charm. You want us to. Oh, my God. <laughs> I want to get out of I only ever wanted to see them safe, which they are. You should do it. No, no, you should do it. Oh, well, kill that, right? Merlin, they're lovely. But what happens now? They can't care for themselves, and surely once word gets out of their reappearance. No harm will come to them. The centaurs will see to that. You have my word. I do not get the snake. Thank you, Doran, for helping us to find them and to fight for them. It is you who deserves the merit, child. You did what the poachers would never have. Remember that. You stay behind him. It's a Patrick we want. Oi, Nesta, look who's here. What have we told you, nearly headless Nick? Hello, Sir Amzad. Do let us pass. We've brought a little something for Sir Patrick. Probably come to try to beg his way in again. <laughs> <laughs> Do they always talk to you like that? Oh, all in good fun. Once Sir Patrick lets me join the headless hunt, I'll be right there with them. This offering is sure to win him over. Uh don't forget why I'm here, sir. Rest assured, you'll have your information from young Jackdaw in no time. Wherever he may be.
What I'd give for a flagon of mead or a nice leg of lamb right about now. Then this party would be complete. How about the next best thing, Sir Patrick? Ah, Sir Nicholas. And a student. Who let you in? Uh, we brought you a gift. This is all very suspicious. What do you really want? As if I need to ask. Um, it, it's Richard Jackdaw. Uh, where can we find him? Uh, may we speak to him? Jackdaw, eh? Why, here he is now. What a shame. Without his head. I bet you've always wondered what that's like, eh, Nick? <laughs> <laughs> Sir, you jazz. <sighs> it's bound to be around here somewhere. Probably being used in a game. If you find it, I give you my permission to speak with him, my young model. <laughs> it's the least I can do for you for bringing this putrescent gift home. Uh, sir, there's another matter I wish to discuss with you, if I may. Tut, Sir Nicholas. How many times do I have to tell you? Our entry requirements are quite clear. <laughs> but, sir, I... Uh, we aren't the headless except for a little bit of tendon hunt, after all. Now, please, follow me and I shall help you find your way out. Farewell, my young friend. Perhaps your luck with these chaps will be better than mine. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the match. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from <laughs> Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Must have only just captured her. She's putting 
not quite the fight. Not a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. Let's even her up, shall we? Okay, I'll take you there. Space. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take me? Red Rob's going to be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? Has to be the end up ahead. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that is unfortunate. No matter. We will build another. I found this one lurking outside. Lord Gok, come to make amends, little brother. I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? Understand you, Lord Gok. So, Gollum, that witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching. Fame for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind. Oh, 
Well, that was expected, obviously. Poor Lodcock. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Can I skip this? Eating apples and listening to thirty seconds to Mars. In other words, and you free that hippogriff. Agreed? This is our chance. Go! Oh. Blast it! Oh, there's got to be a, another way to get up to the roof. Somewhere. You're going home in a wooden box! Hi, Wing. It's all right. There we go. Que no, bro, te voy a ir. Ellos van a ser going serio. it from the poachers. I have it here. It's safe. Remarkable. Well, what are you waiting for? Dee cannot wait to... You keep it close. <laughs> Professor Weasley and Deke were right to tell you about the room. Look at all you've done, and how many beasts you've rescued. I couldn't have done it without your help, Deke. Uh, Deke is grateful for the kind words. Helping you do such good for so many beasts has given Deke a, 
Teak will always be here. It is done. John. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it! <laughs> the arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said children should be seen and not heard. No. Did not kill him with a lot of camera. Why should I not destroy it? At the hour of your death. Oh, huh. there we are. Okay, that's cool. The goblins have somehow evaded <laughs> the castle's defensive charms. That is awesome. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, he beat me. Mm. And it hurt. Oh, obviously the wand. Oh, that wand. Can I have just killed him or? of wizard kind goblins built this repository it belongs to us enough ranrock it was never yours i've been wanting to play with this miriam's wand if she'd simply handed over the container all of this could have been avoided Foolish, self-important witch. <coughs> Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. <laughs> It's the strength. No. I guess I do get to fight the dragon. <laughs> Not the normal one, but still. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Professor Miriam. Miriam would have loved you, my young friend. The wizarding world could not be in more capable hands. They had to add Axel. <laughs> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety, providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Yeah, you better, you better do it this trip. <laughs> Obvious. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig. Okay. Sionai in it, and her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem solving skills. Of course, you doubt it. Oh, hey. Hey. That feels my spells against me.
Just cruising. I mean, seriously, like you turn your back. Okay, that was a good one. <laughs> fucking hell. The fucking did you throw? This <laughs> kid's <laughs> absolutely on me. <laughs> I need slime on it. Let me have it. This is what we've been chasing. I wonder... What is it? Let's find out. Each of them at all costs. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Evil. Boy! What have you done? Saved my sister. Spilled an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. Aha! Sebastian, where did you... Is that what I think it is? We've been over this, boy. Right. Shrivel pigs cannot reverse a curse. Nothing can. The sooner you accept that reality, the better. But we haven't tried everything. There is no cure! When will you accept that? Never! I can never accept it! Now look what you've done! I'm sorry! Going in bars, bitch. <laughs> to you <sighs> hello ah deke we've been looking for you uh, apologies professor weasley deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since deke was last here is this the student indeed it is deke is honored to meet you deke has been a friend since i was a second year we discovered this room together I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. yourself quite a canvas to work with.
I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No, never. We're here because we need your help. Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Eric. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continues to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <sighs> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Slidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Slidgets before the poachers do. Could it be... In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek. A moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. This year, we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. <laughs> the loyalty of Helga Hall. The wisdom of Rowena Ravenclaw. And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts, not to mention the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits. 
I'd say 100 points to their house. Would you? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner. Yeah, I would say it's a little bit cringe. Cheesy. Mm. Really, really 